Hey guys, this is Prez the Collector, and I'll be talking today about Broadside, and this is my very first video. So I'll be, first of all, uh, covering what OpenSea means. Let's go. I've been to OpenSea or touched Ethereum before, like outside um, a VV or Batcals app, because that's obviously purely stable coin. It's, it's what we call, uh, you're using US dollars uh, as gems or uh, US dollars as a deposit, obviously, for back cows. Here um, in OpenSea, the trading currency is uh, mostly Ethereum. Um, it's not just limited to Ethereum, but uh, this is the the most widely used one uh, and what we're going to be talking about going forward. So if you haven't already, uh, have a check out topics. There's plenty in YouTube for Ethereum and crypto uh, using OpenSea and something called using something called hardware wallets because you click on a wrong link or you, you know you go to your collection in OpenSea, suddenly you see every day it pops up for me you see this nft you don't know about and you're being offered like 500 dollars for it and you think wow that's easy money you click it and then bam all your broadsiders are gone so don't fall for that trap there's a lot of scams out there so i would say get your way around it don't click on any suspicious links. If you're lost, ask anybody in the in the broadside family, um, the backhouse family, the VV family. They'll, I'm sure, most will be glad to help you. But um, again, like I said, Ethereum and crypto using OpenSea and using hardware wallets. And once you're comfy with that, then um, please proceed to watching this video. So I'm gonna assume that you guys um, have heard of broadside. I'm just gonna recap it. So um, if you could watch NFT Pirates' video, Matt Mason did an interview for half an hour. So he'll be able to tell you whatever it is you need there. And that's going to be probably the best thing to do is just click away now and just watch that video for half an hour and it will give you everything you almost need. Okay, so in this video, I'll be sharing my thoughts on um, the reasons why you should be excited about uh, jumping into broadside NFTs. Uh, some easter eggs and um things to watch out for um what i'll be doing uh is hopefully be streaming um at some point um really soon <laughs> it'll be impromptu it'll be my first stream like this is my first video so please forgive the the quality of it and the rawness of it um i'm still getting my head around editing and <laughs> capturing the video and everything else so um yeah i guess so we'll um you'll see me evolve hopefully going forward with the comments and uh, everything else. So I'll be in this again, I'll just be going about um, the pros and cons. Um, and like I said, uh, just a quick overview. So Broadside is um, an open sea project started last week, um, but it's been 10 years in the making. So I'm gonna jump to it. So it's been de developed. First of all, it's been developed. The story has been 10 years in the making um, with your Broadsider and your forward NFT. So these are two things you would have minted uh, separately. You would have meant, minted the, when you say mint, you create it obviously from their website, um, the forward NFT, which is free. I'm gonna go and share my screen and show you. And let's do that. Perfect. So we're on OpenSea. This is my homepage. And um, I have a few NFTs in here, but uh, this has been minted um, using, um, well, it was a free mint. And what this function would do is it's it tells you need this NFT along with your broadside to create your one of one story. And um, the interesting thing is actually you could. Um, when you go to the broadside um, page, it will tell you what, what the roadmap is for broadside. So these are my broadsiders. And that's the, um, you need one of these, um, which is going for $3 each at the moment. I'd recommend you probably hit up three um, all at once so that you, when you, you pay something called gas, obviously when you, whenever you buy or sell or do anything in OpenSea. So you need plenty of Ethereum to just, when I say plenty, just, you know, 
you know, at least a dollar per 60 cents, sometimes 29 cents, but uh, it's not cheap. So you better be, you better know what you're doing, but you need one of these um, um, episodes and one of the broadsiders to actually participate in the, in the roadmap upcoming. So what is it, what does it do? So what, what they want to do is design a, a story, um, you know, uh, every week, like each of these broadsiders have a name. So they will be personalized to you. Uh, obviously, you know, unless you buy and sell it before the book book gets published. But um, so, for example, uh, my one of my favorite ones I just got like a few hours ago. His name's Keen. You'll have a book for Keen going out releasing, and every broadsider, um, seven thousand seven thousand two hundred ninety of them, will have, um, you know, a one of one book. So. The aim is to uh, to kind of uh, you know um, break uh, the New York Times bestseller or you know the algorithm because a lot of us are going to be publishing the same book. Um, okay, so that's the that's it. This is storytelling NFT. Each trait would have its own unique story. Each uh, broadsider has a unique name. Uh, some of them have one of one and one of two names. And um, how would I know that? So I guess, you know, you would go to the broadside um, open C page. And then uh, when you click on the name, you know, you'll see some some uh, broadsiders have uh, the name Aaliyah. Uh, two of them have the same name Aaliyah. But, you know, the, you know, the rarer ones, well, most of them actually would have um, one name per broadsider so it's another dimension to to the broadsider you know um it, it doesn't have to be um just based on traits you know you could just be buying based on the name i know for a fact that um my boy adig just bought something called picasso for i would say nearly twice the floor because he liked the name picasso and he liked the way it looked but you know trait wise it wasn't you know, it wasn't anything absolutely smashing. Okay, um, gonna just unshare my screen quickly. Okay, so um, second reason um, why you should be excited about Broadside is, well, as you would have watched uh, the Matt Mason video, Matt Mason being in the team I mean, as much as you know, everyone uh, Vector and um, everyone else are um, getting on his case for never being there um, and only being there occasionally. With his, you know, his face as his reputation backing it, um, this man has accomplished amazing things in Bath House. Um, listening to the community, um, you know, um, people talking spaces and Twitter, and it's been very, very, very responsive. You know, um, we put out a video with Chad and then suddenly, you know, there's a, a loud list coming out for the last comic drop. And I'm taking this on a week per week basis, obviously. But um, so far, man, like the, I will follow that guy, um, you know, ever since this, like, you know, it's been seven months, but it's been, it feels like a lifetime. Um, you see the same, it's a, you know, it's a enclosed space in, in twitter and you know we, we get to see each other a lot um and yeah this matt mason's mason's just taking it by storm okay um third reason would be um if you're on twitter um a lot and uh, and i would recommend you dive into twitter if you haven't well um you know they have something called spaces where you go in and you interact with others you can jump in and out um, and, you know, hosting a space is a lot more difficult. I would say it, it would, it would be something that, um, you know, um, anyway, it's a, it's a different topic, but basically you could hop in, but their style is, you know, you don't just sit there and talk. You usually have a host and then, you know, people jump in and they talk about the project and gets hyped about the project. Um, the pirate spaces, we call it the nine, nine, 92.7 FM. Um, they have um, a great community in there just to, you know, play some, they'll play some music. 
um they'll play they'll play their their own music and then um in between you know they'll they'll have a discussion they'll chill out they'll take suggestions they'll talk about the recent issues and this is all community building because w- what is an nft project without its community you know you could have the best art i've been in you know community projects where you know i go in there and then the art is amazing and then suddenly you have a really poor community that's only in there for profits and you know a, an unresponsive team or a team that thinks they're really really good but you know they, they have the wrong attitude kind of thing um here i'm seeing that you know they're it's been 10 years in the making they've been pre-planning this they've got contingency plans in place they've got a good team behind them we've got matt mason um so yeah any nft collection won't survive without this um kind of level of handling problems and things like that so i think the from what i've seen so far you know it's got a makings of a good really really good project you know picking up steam okay um the fourth reason i would say is the artwork is absolutely amazing you know um and just some alpha they're in talks with das 3d and prioritizing the 3d files because you know people have been calling to extract these so that they could put some bodies in them obviously there's bodies in them but like arms and feet and someone in twitter actually did this someone you know took a broadsider and made a 3d render of the whole body it's absolutely amazing like the amount of disposal and like intelligence and artists that this community already attracts in the very 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 beginning it's just really really scary like it's already having a mind of its own so absolutely amazing and yeah and the reveal day it's, it stopped the charts so yesterday you know i was i was tra- traveling most this weekend and you know um people are climbing to secure the rarest tra- uh, traits you know they're just there sitting there um you know learning learning and we're like so excited about you know just just looking at these things they're, they're so amazing okay uh, my fifth reason would be uh the genesis collection is always the best to try and get in early on and stack so um vector has hinted second and third collections and usually the first collection is always the crown jewel hint hint bad cows <laughs> airdrops are also hinted now obviously none of this is confirmed um it's always been hinted alpha's never really confirmed that you know the best projects never over promise they hint they hint you know it's like a balancing act that um i would say you know um, a lot of these projects especially broadside and back house they've learned from vivi you know like um and you know you know actually setting dates that you can't hit you, it's not it's not a good look and, and not to bash Vivi because i've like i will make videos about vivi as well um but yeah it's 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 just something that that's happening right now it's um it's the very very first collection um i went into another uh, nft project called god hates nfts and you know it started off as fifty dollar mint uh, actually it was a free mint that went to like fifty dollars um 0.05 eth because you know ethereum was trading under a thousand when it came out this was only a few months ago as well and um yeah that that project ran up to one ethereum 1.5 ethereum and it's still stable around half an ethereum today so that's like a 10x from the original investment and you know obviously that culture is more for chani and i love that community as well um this has got all the ingredients that you know it's got a sense of humor in their spaces it's and you have to be again over 18 i believe to be in this project anyway but you know they don't pull any punches they would let you go up there and be you know talk about what you want you know could be nothing's off the table but it's also done in a really professional manner so that's like the outlier you know they let you be yourself basically which is amazing you know all right and then being the genesis collection you know positioning yourself hard in the beginning and that's why i went ahead and bought 28 you know because the average of minting a legendary is 29.1 um and you know admittedly i've really missed that because i i didn't actually mint a legendary but holy like you know i will go through my collection um well what i've managed to mint and flip and i flipped my way into a legendary i sold off about nine of them um just because i really want a legendary 
<laughs> you know, kind of full mode in there. And oh, God knows if that was the best move. But, um, you know, leading up to my next point, which is, um, well, before I move on, it's just, you know, today, the floor price right now as we speak is 0 0.11. It's amazing from 0 0.07. You know, that's almost heading up to a 2x already. Um, but in monetary terms, for a 7,000... 920 you know collection how many drops do we get in bv you know um this figure won't be here especially when people start to realize that by holding and stacking these things like bad cows you know your reward stack and where, where did broadside learn it from it learned it from matt mason from bad cows so i don't know i mean it's it's really something for you to think about about this this project like why do you, why do you not go hard you know, um, you are like, you know, your initial investment for stacking 27 was, you know, probably less than, two, you know, I don't want to name names like, but some, some collections and some pieces that you might hold already have that value. And, how, you know, you have to think about it. How, how is it, how is that value going to stack up? You know, how many, how much is that going to go run your money further? Whereas this one, you get to be in the ground floor, which is right now, you know, and you know, yes, it went up, whatever, but then wait, wait for a good time to enter. Um, okay, I'm going to talk about the sixth reason, um, 56th reason, lost count, but um, there's 258 legendaries in the collection, um, and there are lo there's lots of Easter eggs, so I'm going to share my screen, I'm going to share what I mean. So go back to my collection here. And yeah, so um, <laughs> whenever we go to broadside, um, uh, there is a filter here. There's like little Easter eggs now that we're going to see. So there's a filter here for one of one. You click it true. And it's going to filter by lowest to highest. So for 0.9 Ethereum, which is equivalent to around nine broadsides um if you round it up um you're going to be able to this 258 of them it's not more is going to be minted you're going to be able to possess one of these things um and they look absolutely amazing and they have values in them that will say one of one now i don't kind of like this one of one at the moment because it's confusing i'll tell you why so I have items in my collection that are one of one from Broadside. So uh, let me see, let me see if I could, this one, for example, um, it's amazing, amazing. Let me see if it loads up fast. Okay. So this amazing guy um, is a one of one. So, so you'll see it by just looking at 0 0.01 and you can confirm it, clicking on the trade itself. There's only one guy with this helmet with the spikes. You know, you might have a per I've seen a purple helmet like this before, but without the spikes. But anyway, for this particular combo, that is a one of one. So having the one of one, but it's not a legendary because it's not doesn't have um like the one of one true. So that that filter might even be changing later on. But how does that how is that good for you? Well, people are valuing seeing the value of these things already. Like the, someone is offering me. Okay, there's only 9% above floor, but still, you know, they're recognizing the fact that this is, you know, above floor. Um, and it's amazing. Okay. Um, where are we? Okay. Uh, personalized names um, with it. Yeah. So, again, I mentioned the, the overpay that, that, that this provides, um, you know, I'm um, going to say... Um, boy, you dig, you know, he's only got three is it's his third NFT that he bought, but he immediately saw that, um, he has been scrolling, 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 God knows how long. Um, and you know, this dude is just a fucking beast. He just buys what he wants leisurely. Um, and yeah, he bought this for 0.225 Ethereum, which is amazing. Um, and there's no, you know, you know, I said to him, well, look, dude, like, there is no like it's not even a one of one there's no it's not a one of two but there's only one with the name of picasso in there and he's like yeah fuck with that um and that's absolutely amazing 
what a fucking time to make money guys like you know um you can you can hold the sh you know the crappiest looking broadside but if the name is cool like let's have a little bit a couple in the floor here okay maybe that's not the most common name i'm not sure i'm not saying whisper you know i mean maybe someone will, will fuck with it with that name and then you could just list it for point two some amazing ways to make money here um not just money but like you know just looking at it like you know you could get one for your friends and family and they will have their their name broadside in the collection something to think about and it's something i want to look at you know once i've gone like you know gone find some time for it okay um another thing which i'll you know i don't want to dwell on too much because admittedly i don't know too much about it but what we have is um around one in four broadsides have um two different types of licenses cco and uh, creative commons zero so i'll show you this one um so for example this one has the rec guy rec guy is another collection featured here so what the lore is saying in broadside and what they've talked about in spaces before is um you know in the future in 2037 much like when people wear Guns N' Roses t-shirts, like kids from these days that you know haven't even seen them live or not heard of them, but it becomes fashionable to wear them. Kids in the future will be wearing these NFT collections that have been blue chipped and you know been recognized before. So, yeah. Um, so this would have a CCO trait. And actually, let me have a look at the floor for CCO traits. <sighs> If one and four as CCO traits, I mean that again, don't want to give too much away, but that's that's not even too far from the floor, even. So I'm imagining this will be snapped up pretty soon. Pretty soon. Hmm. All right. And um, and yeah, what, what that means is that other people could make money from this without asking you. It's open license and um you know there's another type called um oh, that's a cco as well oh, no, that's because i've set filter duh okay so hopefully this one isn't okay and that's fcr as well um again i need to f fully clarify and come back on that in another video about what the differences between those two are but again stacking just the ccos it could be a play it could be a play but what they're saying is, you know, um, I guess what they're trying to get at is, you know, the floor price is around $139. What if someone that isn't, you know, doesn't have that money for whatever reason, they can still capture a CC0 broadsider and make some content out of it and make money from it, um, you know, whether writing about it or, you know, um, everything else, making art about it finally i would say gosh we've just revealed and what people are taking profits already there's so much to, that we don't know so yeah um yeah there there is so much we don't know still with it so it'll be really really early to just exit now you can you can you can laugh and take you know your 50 70 percent profit thank you very much right now but we don't even know what these do you know and holding these what, what do you get we're in a snapshot so i would say be careful just exiting now like you know just mind your entry points enter at a good price you know don't fomo in when it gets high but enter when it's good Okay, um, I'm going to balance this video out by just um, talking about things to watch out for. So it can be very, very easy to overpay for aesthetics. Um, but if you do, so let's say you bought something for 0.75 ETH, which is probably around $800, $900 right now. Um, I would say hold it. Um, you know, you never know. Like the most boring looking that, well, I'm just speculating here, but most boring looking broadsider could be worth an ethereum one day so your your purchase of something what you thought looked cool might be cool in the future 
Um, so just hold it if you've done it. Um, but if you're looking to maximize and you know um, get some sniping plays done, I would say best think about um, things like is it a legendary? Is it a one of one? Is it a CCO? You know, there is there something about this trade? Is it a one of two? Is it is it named after someone um, prominent in the community that's really really desired? It's, there's really so many plays that's come out of yesterday, that, you know, because we didn't know anything till yesterday. So these are um, it, it, easy mistakes to make. You know what I mean? Like so, forgive yourself and and learn it. Like put it as a learning, you know, experience. I would say the other thing is it pays to be patient. You know, I lost out on this amazing. I will show you what I lost out on yesterday. So again, sharing my screen. Um, so I'm going to go to one of ones and recently sold. Have a look at the recently. No way. When did this get sold? Sorry. Holy smoke. Oh, no. <laughs> so since recording this video, oh, my word. For 1.5, oh, my word. Sorry. I got distracted. We shall go back to that. Oh, 0.8. Absolute steals. That's a steal. That's a steal. Well, that's not a steal. That's a steal. That's a steal. That's a steal. I'm going to find the one that went past me yesterday. So I went ahead and brought this one, which um, for 1.11 ETH is great and everything, but it, I have things in my collection that looks very similar. So I wanted something to pop, pop out like this. But as soon as I bought it, as soon as I bought it um, 18 hours ago, right? As soon as I bought that, this one came up. This one came. Oops, not this one. This one came up. Right? And it got bought an hour later. And I didn't have the Ethereum. I couldn't load it fast enough. My bank was failing. But man, night and day purchases. You know what I mean? You know a special one when it happens. So have some patience. And and things like this will happen. So I'm sure there's less than 258. Well, it might be more now because there's 7,000. Oh, well, it's how many unique holders? 3,000 owners of, of it. Uh, unique holders of it um, but how many people are there maybe because you know these are wallets maybe two thousand people so i would say you know you'll have i guess one in ten like of us will get a legendary hopefully um again i'm just throwing out some rough numbers here but it requires it begets patience i was impatient you know i sold some at 0 0.08 and it's now 0 0.12 you know um just to flip out just to you know fomo into a legendary but as we speak steals have happened so have some patience okay uh, it leads me to my next point yeah i'm paper handing you know term for selling low the paper handing a term for selling low when the project's been bullish may lead you to miss out on any airdrops or future pumps the story hasn't even begun yet so yeah have some patience okay i'm gonna come out of this recently so page and just go to low and high okay and like i said um my next point is watch out please look at your traits you know what i mean some legendaries are being sold for 0.35 where the average sold for legendaries are you can see the recently sold you can see how much they're selling for you know what i mean you can see the average is between half an Ethereum to 1.5 even, 1.8. You know, these things, <laughs> two ETH. Yeah, and if we go um, highest last sale, you can see it's probably the two ETH. Yeah, that was, that's the highest sale, which is insane. From 0 0.07 to two ETH. Absolutely insane. Um, 
please watch out for the trades. Um, and the key is to look for percentages. You know what I mean? So again, I uh, mentioned before, um, when you go into a broadsider, have a look. Have a look at the percent. Um, like I said, this one. I thought it was a one of one because, you know, there was some confusion, but actually it wasn't a legendary because it's not, it's not got the one of one true, but it is a one of one when it comes to, so, you know, don't floor it. You know, this has been consistently selling way above floor. Okay. Um, and, you know, finally, um, you know, watch out for CCO trades because, um, you know what I mean? I would say, um just watch out for you know for flooring these because i would say you know when it when the scales balance out the cco trades um you know should be significantly slightly above floor and this shouldn't happen this should correct itself in the future okay um no that's all i've got to talk about um i wanted to keep this video a bit shorter than my first initial video but i wanted to get something out there unedited uncut and I hope you found this useful. Um, so thank you very much. And um, I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Hopefully, we'll be watching out um, the bat cows, the broadside market. Um, and I'll be talking about other NFTs. Who knows? But right now, I'd, I'd want to get this out there for you guys to consume as soon as possible. So thank you very much, guys. Watch out um, in the big bad world of OpenSea. And um, I wish you luck in your snipes. And I'll catch you later. This is Pres the Collector signing out. Peace.